By all accounts, Dion von Furstenberg's life really is a stuff of fairy tales. The fashion icon chronicles it all in her new memoir. It's published by Simon & Schuster, which, by the way, is a division of CBS. We went to her office to learn all about the woman called DVF. When did you feel that you were totally successful? I know you, you talk about I the never movie. feel that I'm totally successful. Even now? Even now. I mean, oh my God, the amount of days that I wake up and I feel like a total loser. Still. Don't you, don't you ever feel like a loser in no, the morning? No. I, no, I don't. Well, good for you. I feel fat. I don't feel like a loser. <laughs> okay. There were two. There were Loser? One hardly. Belgian-born Dion von Furstenberg changed fashion 40 years ago by introducing the wrap dress, a winning design seemingly perfect for every body type and virtually any occasion. It's a style that has endured and made hers a household name before the age of 30. And in 1976, she was on the cover of Newsweek magazine. You're 29 years old on the cover of Newsweek magazine. You said, it's very exciting, and I'm in control of my life. I envy no one. I said that? Yep. How arrogant. Do you feel as confident as you look and sounded? You know, you're never as confident as you think you are. I always say that, you know, you look at the woman across the room, and you say, oh, she's so together. But what you don't know is that she's looking at you and she thinks you are so together. Because I've heard you say many times, I don't really see myself as beautiful. And besides, beauty isn't really that great a thing for women. I mean, we do so much for our beauty. Oh, we do I know. facials, yes. we do that. And I think that's we should. But I think it's also, at some point, it's about who you are inside. Yeah. And they say that when you age, the person that you are inside starts to show. What do you think is your best asset? I would pick your cheekbones. What would My you legs, think? no? Your, uh, uh, legs. You've got beautiful legs. Well, because you but, have great legs, too, so oh, you I take don't know, it for but, granted. But I think it's your cheekbones, but you say your legs. Well, both. At 67, she's still vibrant and very sexy. Yet she starts her memoir not with the glitz and glamour, but with her mother, an incredible story of survival. At 22, she was a prisoner of war. She was in Auschwitz. She stayed for 13 months. She came back. She weighed 49 pounds. Yeah. She wasn't supposed to survive. She did. She got married after she came back. And the doctor said, no children. And then I was born. And so her survival was a miracle. My birth was a miracle. And she said, by giving you life, you gave me life back. And you are my torch. Her mother taught her to never be a victim, she says, and taught her to always be independent. And she owes her independence to that wrap dress. I love when people said, listen, this dress is for little boutiques. It will never sell mass volume. But that did not deter you. I did the best I could. I mean, I, you know, for me, that dress, it paid all my bills, it paid for my houses, it pays for my children's education. And then 40 years later, it's still kicking and still around. What is a DVF dress, a DVF girl to you? She is effortless, sexy, on the go. Uh -huh. Effortless means that it's easy, but it means that it doesn't cost too much, yeah. right? That's part of effortless. Yeah. Sexy because you feel good and confident about it. And yes. on the go because you're ready to go. Yeah. And doesn't that describe you? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> on the go for sure. She's married to media mogul Barry Diller. It's her second marriage. The first was to Prince Egon von Furstenberg, though she insists that those were not the defining relationships of her life. The most important relationship in life is the one you have with yourself. And if you have that, any other relationship is a plus and not a must. Yeah, oh, I like that, Dion. <laughs> no. She's also the mother of two. Do you think you were a good mother? You know, I would never dare say them that I'm a good mother. You I mean, I have no. Lately, my son who's now 44, told me that I was never the soccer mom he wanted me to be. I know you're a good mother, but I think of DVF as a soccer mom. Can you imagine that? I, no. No? No. I don't know if I was a great mother, but the result is my children are great people. Yeah, see? So to me, that spells success. Yes.
Von Furstenberg continues to innovate and to embrace change. She's used flash mobs in her advertising. Last year, she became the first major designer to feature Google Glass on the runway. Ah, here we are. And she's using her new reality show, House of DVF, to help identify the future leaders of her brand. Here we are working right now. All you have to do is tell me the truth. As she moves forward, she says she wrote her book to honor her past and the lessons her mother taught her about strength. And I was extremely honest in this book. And I don't sugarcoat anything. I mean, I really open my heart. And then sometimes I say, why am I doing this? Why? I just feel like I'm at the gynecologist here. I mean, why am I doing this? And the reason why... That's very open. That's very open. <laughs> yeah. Why I'm doing this is because I know that every girl, every woman will find a little thing that will inspire her and will make her stronger. She is, as you all know at the table, yes. such a badass. And I really like how she reaches out to other women to try to help them and bring them along the way. Even her initials are cool, Nora. Yes, DVF. And we're wearing DVF today. Yes. I, her mom is a wonderful woman. Great yeah. story. I'm not, I'm sorry. You're watching <laughs> CBS this morning. <laughs>